Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Here's Sophia with her hair not brushed, her clothes oh. on, eating crackers because there's no time for breakfast, right? Yeah, I'm going to clean this down. When you guys feed the ponies, I'm going to knit. No, no, no. Knitting is for when we do reading. Whoa, so, whoa, whoa, whoa. last night, if you guys saw yesterday's video, the girls picked out their own yarn and Sophie's been knitting and yeah, this is what she did last night and I am so proud of her. It is not perfect. It's a first try and it is pretty darn good. Isn't it pretty and darn I good? I learned how to put it on the hook by myself. Yeah, like she learned a lot. This is, she learned a it lot. Doesn't, it doesn't do it at first. It just becomes all a mess, uh, but I keep doing it until it turns out. Yeah, good job. Never give up, right? Is uh, that what you're trying to tell okay. people? It just looks like it's all around in a circle and it just doesn't look good until I keep doing it out and it, yeah, so, uh, it sorts itself out. Yeah, that's amazing. Just keep doing it and it'll sort itself out. There you have it. Advice from 10-year-old Sophia. Advice that even I am going to take today because I feel a little discouraged in my riding journey. I shouldn't listen to mean people or bad comments, but it's hard not to. I need to concentrate way, on all the amazing somebody... comments that you guys posted. Isn't it true though, like if 500 people say amazing, kind, amazing, awesome things, and then one person says something mean, you just focus on the mean. And I need to change that. I want to change that, you guys. Like, let's focus on the night. Too. And let's focus on the uh, advice that Sophia gave. It doesn't matter where your journey takes you compared to other people's. Just live your own journey. And it might be faster, it might be slower, but it's specific to you and to your life. So yeah, never give up. Well, you kind of said that. You're an inspiration to me, Sophia. Whoa. Whoa. Anyway, a good morning to a glorious day. The rain is gone. Every, so guys, everyone goes outside. And um, I come outside prepared to get my shoes on. Yeah. And every mom's like, where's my shoes? And I said, where's my coat? Gabby and I had to go back in. We all walked out the door and Gabby and I were like, wait, where's my shoes? Where's my coat? Goodness, I need to brush you before you go anywhere, pretty girl. You probably were living in misery and all that mud. Anyway, good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a very fun one. We have so many fun things. We're going riding. We're going riding. Are you riding Finn? No. Are you riding Storm? No. Are you riding Storm? No. Today, we are I'm driving not in. Either. Thanks for the. Oh, sorry. Today we are riding lesson horses. Sam's at work and for him to get here and load us up and be at our lessons on time, we can't take our horses. But we are going to drive them in on Friday. Some of you guys are like, hey, what the heck is wrong with Racer Driver? How come we haven't seen him? Well, we only ride with him once every two weeks, so twice a month. There you go, princess. Oh, wow. And there was a holiday and it got one time got missed and so it seems like we don't ride with him anymore but we do so uh, this week we'll be driving in and riding with him at the, at the barn so that is gonna be fun you guys remember how creative he can be so yeah that's gonna be happening it's dangerous Stella I want to she can bolt through she's not a bolting through kind of horse he almost trampled Gabby how's your foot looking Missy looking the same I 
That is all that happened to me. It's hard to get it without the glare. But I have a pulled muscle right here. It feels like it's getting kind of worse. I don't know. I always brag that I have like, I hardly have any pain in my body. I hardly have any pain. And it's not because I didn't work hard. I worked hard. Like I worked in nursing for years and years before they developed mechanical lifts. So like I hefted people with this body like it was my back and my arms that and my legs that did all the work like I did a very physical job um, uh, but it occurs to me today because I do have a sore arm like I pulled muscle in my arm from all the lifting the heavy lifting on this farm farm this, work is a lot harder yeah like farmers man you've got it going on it is it is hardcore it really is and when we, we go to the sales barn it's hard to even find a single farmer there that's not walking all bent over and with broken sore areas on their body like you can totally tell that farmers really do a big hard job all right so meet sparkle who's starving are you starving for starving sparkle she is a polish hen Aw, she's so hungry. Can you guys see her? Anyway, yeah. Oh, you guys stink. They do stink. Anyway, she's our new chicken. Not that we wanted another chicken, but we uh, promised somebody that we would take her. They rescued her this summer, and now it was time. Yeah, now it's time for her to have a home. Aw, she was starving. Anyway, so yeah, now we're integrating another chicken to our to our flock where we have no more room for more chickens. But more yeah, so enough. now no, now I'm gonna have to really look into getting our new chicken coop. I've been looking. I don't want to buy one from the shed people and pay two thousand dollars for it if I can find one that's already used because I keep looking and I keep finding ones, but some of them are like far away or whatever. I feel like I'm gonna find one. So I don't know. I'll buy a brand new one if I have to. I have about another month before. It's gonna really get cold. So yeah, we're integrating a new chicken. I hate that. However, I do have to say that now my chicken thing is complete because I always wanted a Polish and I always wanted a Silky. Silky, so I have those. Now I'm done. Oh, wait, she's a Polish, not Silky. She's a Polish, yeah. She's a Bantam little tiny chicken. Well, she's mine. All right, so girls are working on their homeschool. There comes a time in the day where uh, the computer reads to a story to the girl. Usually it's a classic. I have four stories that I need to listen to. I have one story and I'm doing this the whole Yeah, time. so Sophie's been working hard at her crochet or at her knitting. There's a few errors in the bottom. But well, it's my first time. Yeah, and that's okay. And nobody taught me how to put it on the other thing, so I had to figure that out by myself. 
Yeah, and you did great. It's kind of a knot before, but yeah. I just kept doing And that. if you're like me, then you figure things out by doing it yourself. I graduated college with a 97.2% average, and only one other person had a higher mark than me, and it was 98. And then I had a friend in the same course, and she graduated with a 95. My friend literally studied in zero days, zero seconds did she study. Not only did she not study, she only half listened to the lecture. She was like chatting and doing so many things during the lectures. I stared and I listened and I studied for so many hours. Like I, all I did during college was study, study, study. Like it was insane. Anyway, that's the kind of person that I am. And I, I was adopted, so I always thought like maybe my mom did drugs when I was being born. Like maybe there's something wrong with my brain. And I know a lot of you guys that are especially in school are probably thinking like, what is wrong with me? Because I don't learn the same way everybody else learns. And then I had Sophia, and Sophia is exactly the same as me. She learns exactly the same way. Every single thing is a struggle until she decides to learn it. Like, because we actually physically have to um, figure it out and put it in our brain. It's hard to explain, but yeah. So then, after knowing that this is just the way that we were genetically made, Sophia and I, it made me really realize that God has a plan for everybody. And God gives you the skills that you need to live the life you're meant to lead. Maybe what God has planned for me and maybe what God has planned for Sophie is to help him teach the world about love. So if you're out there and you're struggling with something that you just don't do as well as somebody else, just remember that God has a different plan for you. God gives you the things you need to live the life you're meant to lead. And it's in listening to those things that are really gonna drive you where you need to be so that you could be successful. We ended up getting a bit that was already on a halter. It was, um, it was one of Fiona's. So we were borrowing the bit, but it was already on a halter. So we just used that halter. But today we finally switched the bit onto our own halter. And this is like a nice light color. I didn't really love it. And I oiled it today, like really soaked it and hung it in the sun to dry. And now it's this gorgeous, let me see if I can show you. Now it's this gorgeous chocolate color. And I am so in love with it. See how pretty? So this is mine and I should actually oil it too. What a difference though, right? And where's Gabby's? And then this is Gabby's. Oh, I am in love with Sophie's. I think we need to spend some time cleaning all of our tack and getting it all ready. Anyway, I'm gonna do chores and feed lunch. Feed lunch to this amazing girl. I wish you guys could have seen her this morning, the way she was looking at me, like she was putting her head right to my head. And yes, I see you there too. I do see you, yes I do. We are here at the barn and the girls are looking on the board to see who they get to ride. Oh no. I need to go to the bathroom too. I know who I'm riding because I always ride the same person. Horse. It's a person? Well, yeah, they have feelings. I was wrong. I was just about to go and catch your horse. And Gabby's horse is, this is gonna get crazy, uh, Lily. So it's right here. And where's Denver? Denver. <laughs> I think Fiona wants you to get booked off again. <laughs> Denver, Denver. I right love here. him. I'm just nervous. I'll help okay. you catch him. She's gonna help me. That's amazing. I'm riding Denver. I'm riding a brand new horse. I'm the only one riding a new horse. Abby offered to come and help me. Oh my gosh. Look at that boy. I'm riding him. Oh my gosh. We love you. That's Coco.
<laughs> me in Denver. Holy cow, you guys. I asked God not to let me dream any more falls and I didn't dream my fall the other day. But now I'm thinking like if I dream it, I could at least maybe not do it. Sophie loves riding her. Smallest kid on the biggest horse, like Polly. Aw, hi, sweet girl. So Sophie's riding this big, beautiful girl, and I'm riding this big, beautiful boy. Oh, look at the mud. Thank goodness she's right there in the high ground. Okay, you hold the gate. Denver. I got nothing for you. Look how furry he is, huh? Yeah, he's furry. Still got big feet to hook back. Lily's not muddy at all. <laughs> Lily doesn't like the mud. That's who you need a horse like that. Doesn't like mud. There's a lot more mud. Sophie, you have big chores ahead of you there. Your feet. You got a big chore ahead of you. She's dirty. I think she's taller than that one. Yeah, she is. I came by road her and she's taller than every horse here. She's the tallest horse here. Look at the inside. I feel bad for you. It's not that dirty anymore. Cleaning all that mud. He looks so curious, like he doesn't know me. I'm Laura and I'm going to ride you in my lesson today, okay? Okay? I kind of want a gray horse now. Hi. She's so cute. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.